Do mistakes make you stronger? Let's talk about it. This one really just makes my head shake. Past couple of weeks, we've gone over things where I don't shake my head because I, I can see how these things happen. But in this situation, it's happened. Is it an extreme case? It is extreme. But as I always say, if things can get this extreme, you know, f this far to the one end of the pendulum, then imagine all the gray area that can be going on in terms of you know, what's going on with your personal psychology or what may be going on with your logic, your plan of attacks. So full, I'm not saying that this is probably the case for you. It is an extreme example, but yeah, extreme. Ex if things can get this extreme, then things can get, you know, it, it can get kind of crazy. So let's just get to this. It comes from the, the software that I use at claytrader.com uh, whenever a customer has, you know, a customer service question or anything like that. To add a quick context here, this person was you know, asking some things which led me to send them that link. And the video in a nutshell just says, hey, you're getting too far ahead of yourself. You should probably slow down, tap the brakes and do this before you start pursuing things further. They reply back, a good video. I'm not even halfway ready for it. It being trading. But I prefer learning from mistakes because it makes you stronger. Quick recap to just make sure we're on the same page because after reading that again, this is absolutely insane. It's even worse than I thought it was. I linked them to a video. I'll put that video down below if you wanna watch it. But it basically says, hey, slow down. You are getting too far ahead of yourself. And too far ahead of yourself in the world of trading means you're definitely on the pathway to, to lose money and go through pain and probably build bad habits. The person replies back. They confirm, it is a good video. It is a good video of what I talked about, slowing down. And then they say this. I'm not even halfway ready for it. Halfway ready to trade. Yeah, I'm just not, yeah. But I, I, you know, mistakes. I'm gonna learn from my mistakes. They make you stronger. <sighs> this is not some like, I don't know, song, some sort of inspirational quote. Yeah, I get it. Mistakes, you can learn from them. They make you stronger. They make you better. All this sort of stuff. That's not how it works in the stock market. That's not how it works in the financial market. Why not? Because mistakes cost you money. And unless you have a money tree growing in your backyard, money is not unlimited. It is finite. It has an end. Unless you are the US government and you can just get out the printing press. So this whole logic, I get it as a sound bite. It sounds great. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna learn from my mistakes. Mistakes, learning, you know, that's just what makes you stronger all that sort of good stuff. Yeah, I agree, in many instances in life, mistakes are gonna happen, and it's good to learn from those mistakes. And that's a great way to grow. It does make you stronger. But if mistakes are costing you money, then that's a problem. And the other problem here is, when you don't know what you don't know, that means you don't know what you're even supposed to be learning from. Oh, I lost money, I need to learn from that. Too broad, what does that even mean? Why did you lose money? Well, because I thought the price was gonna go up and then it went down. Way too broad, That's, that you're not gonna be able to solve anything. There's so many variables that could have gone into that where you, you're not, now if you're going through structured learning, then yeah, you can start to, you know how to run an audit on your trades and figure out where things went wrong. But for this per person, and again, not my words, their words, they're not even halfway ready to trade. Yet they think they're gonna be able to learn from their mistakes. When you don't know what you don't know, how are you supposed to actually learn from, from trades other than offer yourself good sound bites? Ah, I lost money, I need to learn from it. I bought here, I thought it was gonna go up, it didn't. And uh, yeah, so I, I, I'm gonna learn that uh, I guess next time I just need to buy it lower. Hopefully you see the issue with this. Again, is this gonna happen all the time? Is this like what, what your probably logic is? No, this is an extreme, extreme case. But just the human mind, it's crazy. If it can cause somebody to use this rationale, then, I mean, make sure you run a self audit. What is your logic? Are you of the mindset of from, you know what? I, I'm just gonna learn from my mistakes. I, I learn hands on. Why would I pay for anything? It's all free on the internet. So I'm just gonna do that, you know, look at YouTube videos, read some social media, check out a few books from the library, and then I'm gonna learn from my mistakes. You know, I say it all the time, but it, it's just so true. If trading was that easy, why? you know, in the world of all this free information, why are the failure rates still at 90%? Because there's more to it than that. 
There's more to it than I get out to just learn from my mistakes. So be very, very careful and you, you, gotta, you, you gotta err on the side of caution. And uh, now this person is just being, this person wants to gamble. You know, at the end of the day, I'm not, I, I do realize this, I'm still trying to turn into kind of a learning example, but this person, their voice is in the head, you know, they're, they're not telling this person um, that they just wanna flat out gamble. They're trying to sugarcoat it and justify it in this person's head. I wanna learn from my mistakes. No, they don't wanna put in any time and effort. They just wanna go now. They just wanna get started trading now. And they just wanna gamble in the money without having to fly to Las Vegas. That's what's really going on here. But be, be careful. Maybe that's the case for you. Are you tricking yourself into thinking you wanna be a trader, but you're, you're ultimately just a degenerate gambler that uh, wants to save your airline tickets before flying to Las Vegas? So be aware of this and don't let uh, your logic get out of whack with the reality of the things. And the reality of things in the world of trading, as motivational as it is to, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna learn from my mistakes. What, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Well, that, that works if you have the money tree, but I, I think if you're like me and the vast majority of the population, you don't have a money tree. So be very, very aware and very, very careful of this sort of logic. If you are out there trading alone currently and maybe are in the market looking for a community to join to assist you in your trading or to just help you, you know, give you another set of eyeballs, then I do have a private trading community where you can trade alongside me and other experienced traders. So what you see popping up on the screen right now is both an information link. So if you click on the inner circle one, that is going to take you to the page where I explain all the details of what exactly come with the community, both the chat room and the newsletter. And then the other image that has popped up is a behind the scenes tour where you can see exactly what is going to you know, be contained within the community. I take you through, like I said, a behind the scenes tour of everything. And that way you'll know precisely what you are getting uh, you know, when you join. So definitely check that stuff out if you are interested and thinking about you know, wanting to join a community and let me know if you have any questions.